Bible said the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Verse number 10 says, so I prophesied as he commanded me and breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army Acts chapter 17, verse number 6. Verse number 6. The Bible said, when they found them not, they drew Jason and Caris, brothers, certain brothers, unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither. Also, as you take your seat in the presence of God, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's time for the church to turn the world upside down. Today, for a short period of time, I want to speak on this subject. Get ready. Great move. Oh, Amen. Get ready for your great move. In Ezekiel chapter 37, when the Bible talks about the valley of dry bones, most people customarily start from here, dealing with the text of the end here. Preaching to the dry bones. Eulis speaks to us of the power of God, of reviving, of resurrecting, and also of restoring. It shows how God can move into the graveyard of our lives and resurrect dead dreams and dead visions. That's customarily where most people start when they talk about this particular chapter. They talk about how he can step into the middle of your chaos and confusion and he can bring order and peace. We see God take nothing and through the process of hearing the word of God and the operation of the Holy Spirit turned nothing into something great, but not only something great, but something that's powerful. That is normally where we speak from when we talk about this particular subject. And we labor with great diligence and attention to the tale to show how a valley full of dry, desolate, broken, separate bones or transform into the final product of a mighty army standing on their feet, ready for service. Then we close the Bible right about that time, talking about can these bones live again and prophesy to the bone, and we shout and we go to the house. That's what we normally do. But today's message is going to be a little bit different. Today we're going to start where we usually quit. Today I did not come to preach to the dry bones that down in the back. I didn't come to prophesy to the dry bones today. But today my purpose is to prophesy to the children of God. I want to preach to a bunch of men and group of men and women under every condition and circumstance of life that God had called and anointed and appointed for such a time as this. I'm not speaking today for, to those that are depressed and distressed. I'm not speaking to those today that are, are fretful and also that are fearful. I'm not speaking to 
those today that are wounded and worried. So often we use these passages of scriptures to speak to those people that are depressed, people that are in great distress, people that are fretful, people that are fearful, people that are wounded, and people that are worried where they're going to get the next meal from. It's not that we don't care for the ones that are depressed, because we do. It's not that we don't care for the ones that are in distress, because we do. It's not that we don't care for the one that's fretful and fearful because we do. We care about the one that's wounded and the one that's worried. But today, I come to speak to God's army. Today, I want to speak to some people today that, that their mind is made up that I, I, I don't care what it's going to take off, don't make it. I want to speak to some people that know that God has already delivered them out of the battle of dry bones. I don't want to ask the question today, can these bones live again? Because today we're talking to people that fill up the Holy Ghost and got fire. Yes, yes. That's what I want to talk to today. So my assignment today is to motivate this mighty army that God has. When God began to talk to Gideon, God told him he was a mighty man of valor. Look at your neighbor and tell him, say, you're a mighty, uh, for the man, don't call it one, man, don't call it man, one. Uh, let's not get it conflicted because yesterday I saw some, they didn't know what they were. But look at your neighbor and tell him, say, today, God, God is speaking to you, speaking to you because, you because you are a mighty person of power. That's who God come to talk to today. God come to talk to some radical saints today. Some people that already have been listed. Some people that already have the name of God's army. Some people that the title that I'm going to make it. Some people with a Marine type background. Come on, come on. The Marines that, that declare that they, the special service declare that they won't leave none of their wounded behind. So even though God have a mighty army, every now and then some of the saints may get wounded, but as long as they're in the war, in the army, we determine we're not gonna leave none of them behind. I want to talk to some radical folks, some folks that know without a shadow of a doubt that we speak those things which we not, and it already is. Some people that believe that the cathedral is already built. That's who I want to talk to. Yes, sir. Today I'm talking about the arm of the Lord. Yes, the Lord. We must understand here that there's not that many contractors in the Valley of Dry Bone, but in every city, in every church, there are a select few yeah. that have answered the call of the Spirit of God. To come to a higher place and to live on a higher plane. Uh -huh. so I, I, I want to know, am I talking to you today? Yes, sir. Are you one of the ones that have come to a higher place yes, to live on a higher plane? Yes, See, everybody can't be in the special forces. Right. Right they got a lot of people that can be in the military. They got a lot of people that can be in the Air Force. They have a lot of people that can be in the Marine Corps. But they only have a few people that can be in the special forces. That's right. Yes. That's right. These are rare breed of people. Yes, it is. Have learned to be soldiers. Yes, These are rare breed of people that have learned to be talked about and still shot. And still shot. Yes, sir. These are breed of people that when people talk.